nature only allows us to keep capacities if they have some value for us, right? That's the whole idea of, um, of evolution. So why have we evolved to have dreams? I believe that um, dreams are just one other language through which our subconscious communicates with us and that we can learn how to interpret that language. And it's, it might not be easy, just like it's not easy to learn, learn how to work with our emotions necessarily, but it's very rewarding. And I have been exploring actually ways to work with dreams um, and I wanted to share with you guys some tips and tools you can use to, to do that yourself. So the first one is uh, if you're like me and you don't remember your dreams at all, um, there is a technique you can use which is basically before going to sleep telling yourself I want to remember my dream, I want to remember if if there's anything important I need to know from tonight, from these dreams that I'm gonna have, I wanna remember it. Um, it can also help to have a notepad next to your bed and write down the date um, of that same evening and just have that intention of, oh, here is where I'm gonna write down the dream when I awake. Okay, so these are some ways to help you remember because we don't always remember dreams. I know I haven't been remembering dreams for most of my life um, and that has helped me a lot. So this is the first step. The second step is once you have the dream, what do you do with it? So there's different schools of thoughts of thought related to that. And uh, I think the most um, unuseful one actually is the one that says okay go somewhere online and check what does seeing a cat in my dream mean um, I believe that that's not that simple because um, it's it's basically our personal subconscious and it has completely different things it's, it associates with different images and um, and I believe it's important for us to develop the capacity to interpret things on our own and um, another way that I believe is much more useful to work with dreams is to help them help you. And um, the way that works is you can have a rational process where you ask yourself, what might the symbols of this dream represent to me? And let your intuition kind of reveal certain aspects of your life that might have to do with this, with whatever you've seen. A big help with this is actually asking yourself what is the emotion, the most important emotion that I felt in this dream. Because usually the emotions have this um, capacity to drive to the main point that might not be that clear to us if we just look at the dream as a whole. Um, and then if you have that answer, look at what did I do before that emotion in my dream and see does that represent something that I'm doing currently or maybe it reminds me of something in my past that I've done that is rising right now to my consciousness and just let, uh, staying with this, just allowing yourself the space to process and see what comes up from it. So, so I believe that's, that's one way. Um, another way is to actually embody that, that dream. So find a way in which you can, like in practice, either through art, like represent whatever you dreamt about, or, um, or go out and actually physically do it. Like for example, I had this dream of, um, of going to water and feeling like I'm not prepared to jump in to water recently, a couple of times. So last night, for example, I just went and I, I I, I, I felt unprepared, it was like in the middle of the night, I was just with my normal clothes on and I just like said, okay, fuck it, let's, let's see what that is and just staying there with that feeling of like, I'm not prepared to jump, I don't want to jump now because I want to sleep and I'm with my clothes on and stuff like that and then eventually doing that was very empowering for me, like just, just getting in that feeling of like, fuck it, I'm not afraid I'm going to jump in. Take care.